Not in that game, but ah, come to rep. I was just mm, first time. Uh, well, aren't I got an extra set? Sit, I'll give you something. Sp All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for dest notes also tell you how far, a how powerful they're at the distance they can strike from. And of course, okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right. Mm -hmm. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round, so go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not... ...much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to attack. When performing an attack, you'll be... A machine's combat power is a combination and its own attack power. This board only has grass and your current... So in total, since my machine it and just like your machine... So right now, this means your machine... Did you get all that? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by... Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn, then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. 
And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your peace to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always... You'd be surprised the advantage you can... I know it saved my behind in the... Oh. Oh, these are all my spare pieces. It's a small set, to... but it should be enough to... You might even fancy looking at... They've got all kinds... Though they'll need the right material. Or you might... know I've lost my fair share of pieces. Or bruja. Oh, no need to thank me always... Now, if you feel like playing a... I could even teach you a few... Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Here, you're the rowdy spark we should be thanking for kicking Olvind out of the forge. Petra mentioned you were trouble, and trouble's always welcome at my shop. Take a look. Won't find weapons like these anywhere in the dark. Guaranteed. See you when I see you, Red. Maybe this guy will fix my lucky hammer by then. Maybe it'll stop breaking, too. Redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. That device is blinking. I guess silence wants me to check it out. Perhaps you need a reminder that you have failed. 
So you see, boy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find the backup, well, you need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. silence like a fool. After he tricked me by bringing his lands to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. You can't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up more of a self-righteous bull. Must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia. How? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him?
merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Uh, might be oh there! Supply. What's Honora doing this far west? Ah, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the wild. Crafted piece. Under the hillside. See where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. From that door. Looks like a Pharaoh facility. Or a Zero Dawn? I have won. 
Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia? Data error. Memory structures disintegrated. Right. Because that would have been easy. What did Silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. Then what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Do you know where Silence went? No. He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he is. Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence intended you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is square. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. My deathbed, he called it. My grave. But you... When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on data error, memory structures disintegrated. Bunch of crazed AIs. Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deluded. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 254. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Current biosphere is version 5. There will be no version 6. There
There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. To activate, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging Extinction Protocol. Maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Me. Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research, as demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right, of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach to ride them as mounts. Aloy. The only issue you should be concerned... Perhaps if you focused more, you might... That's not exactly it. Take it anyway. Just to... Confirm? Yes. Or what... Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped... Correct. According to Hades, this facility... Not even Ted Farrow could touch the... Backups. Everything needed to... The system... Restore control in there. So Hades said... Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy- Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Ga- Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago- It stopped being transmitted years- What if it repeats? It won't. The details are complicated, but the signal required Hades- Delete Hades from any backup you reboot. Now stop wasting time. All right, I'll search, but just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your- It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will- Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your- th Eloy, thanks to me, everything you've been unable to achieve for six months is now now. I know you didn't learn much about me, but in a situation like this, you say... Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soba. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be 
patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them fire gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. This can help me find where the deep water kindleweed's growing. The signal's coming from somewhere below ground. Deep water kindleweed. No, oh, I need other parts. Those legs were built for leaping. And kicking, no doubt. for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting invaluable data. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. I 
think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. Place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. That's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. But, well, this is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Caster might come in handy here. Be a good idea to drop that ladder. <laughs> Doors locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. <laughs> That did it. It's not gonna budge from here. this room for looks like there is another console that needs power this console shut down
here. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I just done gonna make you love me. There's another I just imagine them far zenith raps. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Big guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. Compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I don't think my pole caster can latch on to that here. I'm gonna have to jump. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. What's in here? Door. That's our console next to it. There's data here. From Travis Tate. This pipe looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open. Deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. 
our Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. Close. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are so as is. You may not approve of our plan. But what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get it. Let's speak again before... Goodbye, Tilda. And little... Time to let go. Elizabeth sounded... sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed. It's no good. I can't use the pull cast on it. some of the sweat. Going down. Okay, so much for the flooded maze. Hold for Power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Put the backup. <laughs> 